Have you ever had an instance when, for example, ATC gave you instructions for a certain climb? So you want to set your altitude. So you start fiddling with the knob and suddenly your screen zooms in because you didn't target the exact right pixel. Or maybe you're changing the heading and suddenly the screen just decides to act up on you. That's because of the zoom in feature that is included in the mouse wheel. Well, thanks to a user named Petri Sirkala. He commented in one of my vids and uh, it's such an important feature trick to have that I thought having a separate video would be more than worth it. So let's go and find the trick on how to make that work. Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Bit of a shorter video today, I think. As I mentioned in the intro, we will be focusing on how to prevent that accidental zooming, which I absolutely hate. It's a very simple trick, but there are, as anything that goes with Microsoft Flight Simulator, there are nuances involved. So a simple text sentence might not be enough. Before we start though, let me just give a shout out to DT Fang. He made this clumsy livery perfect for our on-air virtual airline. Look at the beauty of that. CG livery. Clumsy livery for the TBM. And that is downloadable for everyone to use. Just take a, check out the mods list link in the video description. Anyway, <laughs> it's like a sponsored ad. Huh? Anyway, like, uh, all right, let's work on that. So by default, you have that problem. So it's so hard to fiddle with the knobs. What you do is you go to controls, go and look at the mouse here, make sure you select the mouse and you'll see all the controls in here. And you can actually, a simple, it's a very simple concept. You just have to remap this uh, unzoom and zoom cockpit view. But yeah, there will be more complications I will show you later. So what Petri was suggesting was to change this. So by default, that's mouse wheel down. So click on that and uh, click on here and put in, hold your right mouse button. So that gets considered and then don't let go of it. And then do a mouse wheel down like that, right? And then validate. So it will ask you to save a new profile. Let's maybe call that zoom because you cannot overwrite the, the default profile so it will ask you to make a new one so zoom okay and now you should see the, the zoom profile is enabled so do the same thing here so do a right click and then mouse wheel up and then let go of everything and then validate that looks good right seems simple enough but wait there's more don't leave yet because that doesn't work quite well so now if I use my mouse wheel, nothing is happening, which is great. So now I can do the altitude, the heading and all the knobs, all the switches. I can use my mouse wheel for those. I can even fiddle with the switches, some of the switches using mouse wheel, which is much easier than the default than just by clicking it. So that's very helpful. But if I turn off track IR here, you wanted to, some of you, especially if you don't have track IR, you probably use the right click to look around. You can hear my mouse clicking. This is, that's the right click. It doesn't work anymore because the right click is mapped. It's waiting for that zoom in. So you can still zoom in by holding the right click and then using your mouse wheel. Hmm. You might have noticed some things changed. That's because I reloaded. I got a bug and this is a good watch out. So I'll include it in the video. I was fiddling with the controls, right? You saw it and now nothing works. None of my views. I can't go external view. can't go drone view. Basically all the cameras don't work anymore, but maybe we can try resetting it. Reset position. Does that work? No. Even free look, look at this. Free look doesn't work. I turn off track IR. Yeah, nope, nothing is working. So in this case, 
Once you've done that, if it bugs out, just quit the sim, start again, and the, when you load it again, it should be from where you left it, like after setting the zoom feature. So yeah, it is very buggy, but we'll try. So I'll reset, restart the sim, catch you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back and now the controls are working again. I restarted the sim and now it's working. And let's go and start up the plane just so I can fiddle with some of the controls. The zooming is no longer working, that's good. When I move my mouse wheel, nothing is changing. Aural warning, okay. And I can fiddle with the altitude, the heading, without risk of zooming in and out. Okay, that's good. Now, how do I zoom in and out? We programmed it to have right click. So I hold right click and I use my mouse wheel. If I mouse wheel up, interestingly enough, now it's inversed. Pause system test. That's okay. another one of the bugs. And this is why I really wanted to make a video because there are so many pitfalls involved. So if you hold your, if you just use your mouse wheel, nothing happens. If you hold right click and then zoom in and out then it's working but it's inverted so now we have to map that again go to the mouse the zoom and go to mouse wheel so we just invert this so right click mouse wheel up this time and this one other one right click mouse wheel down okay and that's that doesn't make sense anymore but it's how it works, so let's go with it. Now, is it working? There we go, now it's working. Right click, zoom up, mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, zoom out. So that's how you zoom in. But the problem is now, if you don't have, especially if you don't have track IR, and if you want to move your mouse, you can't anymore. Previously, you would hold right click, right? So right click is not working anymore. You can go with middle mouse. Middle mouse would still work. So that's how you work around. You, you, you lose your right click functionality, but your middle mouse is still there. And I think it's more than worth the trade off. Now the problem with middle mouse is it's not a hold button. So you click on middle mouse and you can move the camera around until you click it again. Right click was a bit different. It was a hold feature. And that's because it's literally a different control here. So if you look under, if you search for free look, for example, free look, you'll see it here. The right click is actually this one, free look hold, and the mid click is a different one, free look toggle. So what we can do is only for the cockpit camera, you can say clear that, so we don't use the right mouse button at all, and put that clear that as well and put the middle mouse here on the hold feature where the right click previously was that's fine yes so that means inside the cockpit you scroll around by using the mid middle mouse button hopefully that works and I won't have to restart the sim I'll test it out that works now okay so I hold the middle mouse I let go of it and now the scrolling stops. So this now functions exactly like the previous right click. And my goodness, it, it, it seems so simple, but the additional immersion this brings without those accidental zooms is, oh my goodness, heavenly. I've been flying a couple of flights today and uh, fiddling with the knobs like this, hearing those very immersive sounds, I love it. Even though you can just simply like assign a hotkey for heading and altitude, like this one, so I can use my joystick, my yoke for changing the altitude selected in the heading. There is no sound there, so I really like fiddling with the knobs themselves. So that's very helpful. Now one final tip I will show you guys, well I can't show it to you because I don't have it. If you want to avoid all that trouble, and if you happen to have a mouse, you know one of those fancy mice that has extra buttons? like MMO mice or something. You can, instead of doing a, for the zoom and unzoom, instead of using a right click plus mouse wheel, assign that to that extra mouse button plus mouse wheel. You know, because 
basically this modifier this whatever button you assign here as modifier you will not be able to use it anywhere else so for me i only have two buttons well three left right and middle you can't assign the left because it you lose capability of some of the touch controls like here when you left click right like, like this and click on the touch panels you won't be able to left click here anymore so that won't work so left click is no go right click it's good enough you can move it to the middle mouse as we've done but the best case scenario is if you have an extra button just use that here just make that for example mouse 4 plus mouse wheel up mouse 4 plus mouse wheel down and that will work perfectly theoretically i haven't tried it because i don't have a, a mouse with extra buttons but try it out let me know how it works and uh, let me know in the comments if this helped you and please thank petri Sirkala. he is the guy who commented on my video and gave me this uh, tip so i wanted to share the pretty simple but pretty useful trick for everyone to benefit from all right so that's it for today very short video thanks for watching guys have a nice day and catch you in the next videos we have an update coming soon from microsoft flight simulator hang tight let's hope there will be no major bugs included thanks have a nice day in clumsy flying let's have a final look at that uh, livery from dt fang amazing stuff mods list link in the video description to download this thanks have a nice day and clumsy flying bye, -bye.